My name is Ruben Gabrasidig. I'm a deputy head teacher here at All Saints, and I lead in the area of school curriculum. The curriculum essentially is a course, and in order to facilitate your child's course of education, we have a structured school day. So I'm going to begin by outlining our school day. The school day begins with registration, which takes place bright and early in the morning at 8.45 sharp. All students are expected to arrive at school on time. Children typically begin to come onto our school site at 8.30 a.m. Now this is a good time to keep in mind um, as a target because it will ensure that things such as bus delays, etc. are taken into consideration and do not affect your child's punctuality. It's essential that all students start the day correctly and they're fueled properly so that their academic instruction, their learning can begin. So all students should have breakfast in the morning. However, if they don't, we can provide them with toast and bagels thanks to the good work of our pastoral team. Students then have registration or form time at 8.45 in the morning with their regular form tutor who's a point of contact for them. And there's a form time schedule of activities which students do during this time. So this may be literacy activities, numeracy activities, a reflection, a prayer, something of that nature. We then have free 100 minute lessons with a break in between them. Now, the 100 minute lessons ensure that in-depth learning can take place. This includes adequate examination practice, flipped learning, project-based learning, and longer activities such as debates, sports, drama, etc. are all given adequate time. We've also noticed that there's the added benefit of students only having to prepare for three lessons a day, as opposed to five, six, or sometimes even more. There's also very little time lost in the school day due to transitions between lessons, and on such a large site, this makes for a much calmer, safer, and academically orientated school. There are many practical and academic benefits to the structure of our school day and you can be certain that our staff will ensure that the lessons are varied enough so that students can focus throughout the entire lesson. There's also a staggered end to our school day and students are escorted by their teacher to the various exits and even at the end of the school day they will see their senior leaders and their pastoral leaders at various sites, even down at the bus stops, to, uh, to ensure that they get home safely. The school day, however, does not necessarily end there for your child, as we've got a very robust co-curricular program and we encourage students to get involved in the various groups and clubs, such as the arts or music and sports and various aspects of the Catholic life of our school. So there's an outline of our school day. OK, so now that we know the structure of the day, we want to now begin to look at what our students actually study here in our curriculum. Well, we offer a curriculum that gives students the exposure and the opportunities to learn knowledge from many areas and develop different skills within each subject. This is known as a broad curriculum because it offers many opportunities in a broad variety of subjects. If you've seen our school promotional videos, you'll get a sense of the breadth of the curriculum your child can study here at All Saints. And going further than that, we also have a co-curricular offer, which broadens their horizons even more. By providing this broad curriculum, we find that students are able to discover their God-given talents and perfect their skills in many areas. By doing so, we educate the whole person, and every child will discover the great beauty and uniqueness with which they have been created. Now, the subjects that you can see on the screen, on this list, are studied for three years. This is our Key Stage 3 program, which starts in Year 7 and ends in Year 9. And at the end of each term, students are given an assessment which is reported to you, their parent or carer. This assessment is a summative assessment, which records, as best as is practically possible, the summary result of your child's performance that term. Your child, whether they're Key Stage 3 or Key Stage 4, will receive a paper report at the end of each term. So there'll be one at Christmas, Easter, and in summer. We will provide you with a record of achievement folder. And in this, you can store all of your child's paper reports and keep them over time. You can also access their report digitally through the Sims Parent app. However, we will send you a text message to let you know that your child has received their paper report that day.
and they can share it with you and it can be stored in their achievement record folder and hopefully handed to them as something to look back over with pride at the amount of progress they made during their time here at All Saints. For the next part of the presentation, we'll take a brief look at the report itself and I will give you some pointers when it comes to navigating your way around the report. So firstly, our school is based on passionately Catholic precepts and one of the main beliefs that we have as a Catholic school, as well as being a rights respecting school, is the philosophy that parents have a solemn duty to educate their child. This means that as a school, we support your child's development and will communicate most effectively with you about how we perceive they are progressing. So the report is a means of communication which develops a partnership between home and school in the interest of the child's development. The very first thing that we communicate to you on the report is your child's attendance as a percentage. For your child's development, for their safety, for their well-being, they must be in school. Attendance should aim to be at 100%, but if they cannot attend due to sickness, we can authorise the absence if you communicate the reason to us. There is a direct correlation between your child's academic success and their attendance. Along with attendance, punctuality is also very important, so we will record the lates on the report as well. As well as this, in line with our new behaviour recording system, you will receive a summary of the behaviour points your child received at school, as well as the achievement points. These points are recorded from throughout the school in every single subject and in the playgrounds and in the corridors, and they'll give you a direct insight into how your child is conducting themselves. Needless to say, we expect them to conduct themselves as All Saints students who exhibit our values and ethos in all that they do whenever they are wearing our school uniform. Under the academic section of the report, you will see a list of subjects which your child studies here at All Saints. You will then see their target grade. We set ambitious target grades because we believe in your child's ability to succeed under our guidance and with our quality first teaching. The means we use to determine the target grade is a combination of data from three sources. The first is the child's key stage two data if that is available to us. The second source is the CATS tests which all new students complete. CATS tests are cognitive ability tests which assess the students in a number of different ways. Finally, we've introduced baseline assessments which the Year 7 students complete for each subject area. By doing this, we increase the resolution of the picture of your child's ability upon entry to our school and we chart their progress against the target grade, the ambitious target grade that we have given them. The next thing you'll see on the report is their last assessment grade, their lag, we say. This is the result they achieved in their end of term assessment according to the criteria of the subject. You will then see a performance indicator. This is the teacher's professional judgment based on a range of information including homework, classwork and other formative assessment that they use to work out how they believe your child will perform at the end of the key stage. There are two main systems that you will come to be very familiar with when it comes to the reports that we provide you. The first is a system of reporting that we use to chart your child's academic progress. This is known as the BATP system. The B stands for beyond, which means that your child is working beyond the expectations of them at that assessment. A is achieving, they're achieving at the expected level. T they're working towards achieving the expected level and P is for those students who are performing below the expected level. Now we try to reserve awarding students a P unless we wish to draw attention to the need for a specific targeted intervention based on a student's academic needs. We then have a system that we use to report your child's academic character and we do this in a number system. So your child will achieve one for outstanding in a category. So for example, they produce outstanding classwork on a consistent basis. Two for good, three for satisfactory, it's okay, and four for below satisfactory. And once again, we reserve the four 
unless there are instances where we wish to communicate a need for further intervention in a particular area. Okay, so we've gone through quite a bit there and I, I want to conclude just by saying thank you for listening to me um, as I explain a few basic parts of our curriculum. I hope that you found this section and the others that you uh, have, have listened to to be helpful. I want to add my warm welcome to that of the head teacher and of all of our staff. As a final note, I really encourage you to support us and support your child as we together will help them to grow. We will work for the best outcomes and the outcome above all which we will work for is their growth in goodness and virtue and all that God wishes them to achieve. May God bless you.